What's going on, everybody here, and welcome back to some more Planet Crafter. So today, we're gonna take a pause from the automation stuff real quick. Um, we are doing the automation thing, automation stuff. It's happening, right? It's good. And we're gonna get back to that, but you know, it's gonna be kind of basically the same as the last episode. And I kind of want to break things up a little bit. So what we're doing today is uh, we got to get things moving on the animals front here because I really want to get the fish farm going. I want to get the aquarium and stuff like that, but this is just moving super slow. So the only way that I can, I think, I think that I can increase this right now is by adding more aquariums. So today we're going to make the largest aquarium that we can. Uh, well, the largest area of aquariums and we're going to farm the eggs that we can. We're going to get all this going and we're going to have a good time. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do like subscribe, all the fun things now couple of things i need to mention one um the plankton seems to be working now so i went ahead and i put on here a, a supply of all of this and fish eggs still doesn't pull the fish eggs out but it does pull the plankton out which is super nice super good um second thing is i'm actually gonna go ahead and pull this and i'm going to this is what okay i'm going to deconstruct this and the reason for that is i was informed in my discord somebody told me that uh they they found some better eggs fish eggs somewhere else so yeah i'm pretty excited about that so i want to go put that trap down somewhere else and have that going um and then also hold on somebody also told me if we take these fish eggs i didn't even i don't know why i didn't even think about this but if we took take the fish eggs throw them in here throw these in there and guess what boom you get fertilizer like of course you do you get fertilizer, you get the photoplankton, you get mutagen tier three. It like <laughs> that's a good little farm right there. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and dump that stuff off, and then we are gonna head out. So I'm gonna drop that, that, and that. I don't need those. Here come our bots. Take everything away. Shoom. All right. So let's go ahead and let's start with. Um, I'm gonna go to the area that I was told was uh, was good in the in the discords. If you guys want to join the Discord, link down below. Um, I try to hang out there. I try to chat there if I can. It's the easiest way to talk to me. Uh, yeah, it's the easiest way to talk to me. Get a hold of me. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and eat some food. And let's take our teleporter over to the biome, the waterfall, here. And this is so far, I think, where they've said that they've been getting the best tier eggs. Um... Should we throw it in here? You know what? I'm going to do this because this area looks all fine and dandy. I'm going to throw it in the back because remember how I said back there? I was like, man, this whole area back here looks like an amazing fish area. You know, I'm going to throw that in there and we're going to we're going to come back and check on it. Now, um, I'm going to set up the um, the thing again for it to automatically collect the plankton out of it. So hopefully we'll come back and be full of fish eggs. And we won't have to worry about the plankton filling it up because the plankton fills it up very quickly. Very, very. Well, you know what? We almost need one. What does it take to actually make this thing? Um bio nugget soup oh shoot we can make a whole bunch of those let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and let's make a bunch of these things i'm gonna throw one in um let's see okay so each body of water okay so this is all one connected body of water let's go ahead and let's throw one right in here this pool right here just looks like the absolute most majestic place for some beautiful fish so let me go ahead and let's set up a supply i'm just gonna go ahead and do the the um the plankton because if I, it, it, it's not, they're not gonna take the fish eggs. They don't take the fish eggs. So uh, there's that. Now, another thing I did see <laughs> in the discords, of course, is I did, I thought, I'm pretty sure I saw somebody say they went up the, um, they crawled up the ye old waterfall here. And I don't think we, I don't think there was a golden chest, but I think there was a couple of pulsar quartz up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab those. I'm gonna, we're gonna see if we can find them because we got a jetpack. Also, if, um, <sighs> If you are new-ish to the game, if you're starting over fresh, I highly recommend, I'm gonna tell you this is exact, oh, there's definitely an easy way up here, huh? Like, oh, hold on a second, is there? This is, I feel like this is too easy to crawl up here. Oh, okay, like we got some regular rock deals. Nothing super crazy. Can I just go up this wall? Yeah. I sure can. Then we go up this wall right here. Okay, so we got uh, we got a waterfall here. 
beautiful water. Oh my God, there's a golden chest. <laughs> there she is. Oh, look at that golden effigy. Ooh, look at that. We got some things. We got some things. Oh, and another golden seed, baby. Yes. Yes. All right. Um, <laughs> Do we really need to go any higher than that? I don't think so. I don't really think so. Yeah, we do. Let's go. Let's, let's see if we can go all the way up to the top. You know what? It really doesn't want me to go up to the top here. So you know what? We're not going to. We found the golden chest. We found a golden chest. I, I didn't think there was one up here, actually. So, hey, guess what? Now you know. Um, but if you are just starting a fresh new game, this water is not going to be here. Um, this waterfall is not going to be here. This is a... Um, this is as you go along, there's, there's going to be things. However, um, I feel as though... I don't know... But I feel like this area, it doesn't have any sh signs of ice or anything. Maybe this will be blocked off by ice. But if it's not, this place is the best place to get to in the early game. Because check this out. You got your boots, your backpack, your exoskeleton. You've, you got like everything here. The only thing you don't have is a jetpack, right? I don't think there's a, I don't see, uh, auction tanks. Um, yeah. So like that's a, that, that's a fantastic place to make it to if you can. But, all right, let's go ahead. Let's head back. I'm gonna make some more of the um, the algae or the the living things cap catchers catchers, and we're gonna go ahead and place them on a few different water sources here. I think we'll build at least two more. Um, we'll place one like in this water area. Yeah, we'll build we'll build two more. I think. Oh, hold on. We gotta set our effigy up over here. Uh, there it is. Oh, look at that. It's the little robot. It's so cool. Haha. <laughs> we got it. We got it. Okay. Leave a comment. Let me know how many of you have found that golden chest before I showed you. <laughs> um, all right. So for the things that we're looking for, like I said, water life collector, bioplastic nugget, super alloy, and silk. You know what? Let's build. Let's go ahead and build. Let's get this stuff for four more. Why not? And let's hope, hope that we have enough bio nugs. One, two. Oh my gosh, we have literally just enough bio nugs to make that happen. So four more um, water catcher deals. Now, let's see, I need super alloy. Two, three, and four. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's do that. So I'm gonna go back to, uh, I'm gonna go back to the, the waterfalls area. Just because I feel like this is probably one of the better areas. And I have a teleport here. <laughs> I really need to go through and put teleports in more places, but. Go ahead and put that there and then let's go ahead and grab this and we're going to do a supply of the photoplankton so that way that's good to go so they can go ahead and grab that and then so this is technically a different water source than this however oh like i feel like this is a great spot you know you know what i mean like doesn't this look like a, a wonderful breeding ground for fish let's go and put another one in right here all right, so those are good. Looks good. Okay, and then I do want to set one. I'm going to set one underground in the um, the pink biome, the mushroom biome. Oh, there's some zeolite. We're going to grab the zeolite because I really need... Zeolite, I still think, is the one thing that you can't really farm. I mean, we got pulsar quartz on... Uh, we got pulsar quartz on asteroids, and we can actually craft it. However, zeolite something that we cannot i don't think we can mine anywhere all right so i'm going to go ahead and put one in right here all right so that looks good okay so we've got those i have enough for one more i'm going to go ahead and save that one because i don't want to use all my bioplastic nuggets right now so we'll let those run for a little bit and uh, we'll go and build our new addition for our aquariums because we're going to have a lot of aquariums and I really hope aquariums don't require bio nuggets. They don't. Good. <laughs> uh, so we're going to have to build a, a, a sizable addition for all the aquariums because we can't really. Well, I mean, we could put them outside, but man, nobody wants an outside aquarium. You know, you usually go to the aquarium, you go inside, and you, you know, you enjoy yourself. Um, I went the wrong. <laughs> I only have two teleports and I went to the wrong one. All right, so let's go ahead and put all this stuff away. And then let's see, we need aquarium tier ones. And we need quite a few of those. So let's start with the circuit boards. 
Oh, actually, you know what? Let's build the room first. Uh, let's see. Where's our... So, three iron, three titanium, and two super alloy. All right. That should be easy enough. Okay. So, we got a whole bunch of materials here. Now, I think what I want to do... You know what? Let's just do it. Let's just let's just go this way. And let's see how this looks. I don't know how this is going to look because it's like connecting some weird spots and weird things. Actually, I don't even know if this will connect. Oh, it does. Oh my gosh, it barely made it. Okay, so we've got that. Now, um do I connect to Where do we connect this at? So we could connect there. Is it going to get in the way of this? It might. And it's going to start pulling from the stuff. Er, but you know what? It's aquarium. You know what I mean? It's just an aquarium. So maybe we should go... We could pro... You know, we could take these out. My problem is that we have to move all this stuff over. And we could just make it like a super long aquarium. Uh... No, let's do this. Let's do it like that. I think that'll be good. I think that'll work. Let's let's check this out. Let's see how this is. Let me grab some water here. Delicious, delicious lake water. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so tasty. Um, okay, so let's see. We've got this big, huge room. I mean, we could fit a lot of aquariums in here. Let's we'll just leave it like that. That'll work. So now, now we need aquarium pieces and aquarium parts. So let's see. I want to make. I kind of want to make as many as I can just because we need to get this going as fast as possible so um circuit boards are probably gonna be a limiting never mind not gonna be a limiting factor let's start off with let's see if we can start off with eight let's see if we can start off with eight of each i think that'll be good It's going to be the fertilizer tier two that's going to be limiting us. Let's see what, let's see how much we have. What? Oh yeah, we got a lot. Oxygen capsules. Oh, what do we got going on here? Oh, don't, don't tell me it's, uh, what is it? Ah, oh, dang it. It's pulsar quartz. I really... Oh, uh, I need the pulsar quartz. You know what? Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to go we're going to go throw all this stuff into an inventory real quick. Uh let's see. Larva 4. Dump everything in there. That looks good. Okay, let's go grab this because I want the pulsar quartz. I need the pulsar quartz. I mean, we can make it now, but if I can make it, if I cannot make it, that'd be even better. Boom. Oh, snap. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I see it. It's rolling. It's stuck under the rocks. I'm stuck under the rocks. <laughs> Let's see. Is there, did any roll down here yet? Let's see. Oh, here's one. Here's one. Here's one. Okay. Any more? Oh, I see you. I see you. No, I can't get you because you're hiding. Oh. Oh, there's one. Oh man, these rocks are in the way. I need you to despawn, please. See, I think. See, I think the problem is I don't think the pulsar quartz stays. I think if as soon as these rocks despawn, I think the pulsar quartz does as well. It's kind of a bummer because it's like it's right, it's right there. Uh, well, rest in peace, pulsar quartz. I can't get you right now. Okay, let's go grab. Oh. It's a tease, I'm telling you, because I keep seeing it out of the corner of my eye. It's like right there. Ugh. All right. I don't think there's any anywhere else either. So, all right, let's go grab our stuff and let's make some aquariums. Let's make eight aquariums to start with. I got three pulsar quartz, only three. Uh, what a joke. Okay, I can't complain that much. Three is, three is not bad. Um, all right, so I need oxygen. All right, perfect. Wow, my inventory literally holds just enough for eight of everything. Now, I need to put one. Okay, hold on. We're going to we're gonna have to finagle this a little bit because I, I want to put one right here. 
And then I want to like go around this corner here. Actually, it won't let me put it in the doorway. Okay, so what we're going to have to do, can I put it in like, let's see if I can get three along one wall. Wow, cannot. So a max of two per wall. So I guess, I mean, that's pretty easy because then we can just center them right here like that. And then since this one is. See, I feel like they're a lot closer in here. They are, but the third one can't fit in there. So it's, it's almost pointless to even try to fit them on there. It's, I feel like it's better just to throw them nice and straight on these walls here. You know, what we could do is we could just throw them all like this too. Uh, yeah, it looks all right. Okay, so there's some aquariums. Let's go ahead and uh, let's move these guys. Let's see, where can we move those to? Honestly, I need to, well, you know what, they're all, it's, this is gonna be kind of a temporary thing. So let's see, let's throw one in here. You know what, I honestly, I'm thinking we should just throw as many of these in here as possible. To just go for it, you know, let's just get, let's just get all of the things that we can go in here. Now, ideally, we'll find better eggs. So, okay, so there's those. We could probably get one, two, three, four, five, six. We could probably get six more in here. The only problem is three. Oh, my, and six. I have actually six more. Exactly. You know what? Let's do it. I need to get, we got to get the, the bigger fish stuff anyways. And eventually, we're going to deconstruct them and use the bigger stuff anyway. So, we can get our stuff back. Wait a second. Do I seriously only have four oxygen capsules? What the, what are the odds of that? That like never happens. You know, I guess I can set up a cobalt thing, have it turning in automated into oxygen and then oxygen going into there. That's just another thing to automate. We probably should make that happen eventually. <laughs> All right, uh, so yeah, let's go ahead. We're just gonna, we're just gonna throw these in here. Because why not? We need as many as we can. Okay, so that's all that I have. We could throw one more in here, but all right. So now the goal is to see, let's go see what kind of eggies we've got here. So we've got Provost eggs here. So, I mean, not the super, wow, Photoplankton A. Did Photoplankton A already fill up? Yeah. Sure did. Sure did. Okay. So those are Provost eggs. Uh, let's see if we can find any better eggs. Let's go ahead and let's pop back over to the waterfall. And let's see if any of these have any any more lucrative eggs for us. You know, maybe, maybe they found something a little bit better. Uh, they haven't found nothing yet. Darn. Okay, so we'll just take all those. No eggs there whatsoever. Can't even believe, not a single egg to be found. All right, uh, number two. Um, oh, fish Tilo eggs. Very nice. I mean, that's something different. That's something new. I like that. Okay, let's go check the, um, the one in the back here. I think we're gonna have to get a um, a dump system play. <laughs> I feel bad, but oh, you know what? Actually, we'll place one in there. That'll work. That'll make it a little bit quicker too. We're gonna have to get a um, a system in place so that way those photoplanktons are uh, the extra ones just kind of get uh, the boot. All right, what we got here? Tilo eggs, same ones. Okay, so we'll take all those and then let's go check the ones underground. All right, what we got? Nothing. All right, so let's go and let's throw our uh, new fancy eggs. Just got completely turned around. I was like, where the heck is everything at? Um, how much, what is the golden ones? Okay, so golden fish eggs are 500%. Those Tilo eggs are 400%. That's probably the best ones 
that we can find that aren't golden and that is not bad at all so okay so these are all pretty much full what we need to do on those i'm gonna need to make another um let's go ahead and make another deconstruct a shredder machine here so let's make that and then we're gonna go ahead and place um these as a lower priority to a shredder machine so they can just kind of get uh you know deleted and then i'm actually i'm gonna go ahead and make this over by the waterfall thing because might as well you know so we'll go ahead and set this up here actually hold on no that's facing the wrong way <laughs> that's weird the arrow's on the side oh i guess it is like kind of on the side and then i'm going to go ahead and demand a priority zero demand for these and we'll just leave that here so as this fills up we can just hit the button and eject ocedo you know <laughs> you know what i mean like they're gone so let's go ahead and let's see if we got any more i basically just want to keep coming back here and checking and hoping that these eggs go bye-bye or like just there's egg, you know what i mean so like there's just eggs that's what i mean do i need to make more of these things i feel like we might need to i might need to increase my bio nugget uh productions okay so now actually you know what i want to do something else while we're here into the cave we read the message and they said they were going to head west and that they were probably going to die on the way there we're going to head west and we're going to see if we find anything um because i forgot somebody commented that and they're like hey you never headed west and i was like you're right i completely forgot so i'm going to head west as well and we're going to see if we can find anything i mean like okay so we've got a random cra holy rocket engines yeah i'll take that so let's head west and let's see if we come across anything um other than zeolite and other goodies <laughs> oh i wonder if there's i wonder if this crater's getting reworked because there used to be a thing down in here let's go down in here let's go look now because there used to be a there used to be a crater like there used to be a meteorite i mean this is this was all a meteorite impact um i wonder if they're gonna change it up now to have, maybe have to do something with that story yeah, i don't really i don't really see anything oh hold oh wait what this was wasn't this here was this, this was here i think hold on let's go check this out oh of course it's getting dark as we find something wasn't this here before well i don't know i guess we'll go down here and find out won't we pretty sure this was here before almost positive this was here before <gasps> new blue room c for t beehive t2 yeah because i think we already i think we deconstructed everything already i mean there's some stuff i'm pretty sure we deconstructed everything already in here yeah we we did oh there's a pulsar quartz so i'll take that okay let's go ahead and let's pop out of here like I said, I think we've already, it's hard to tell because some, like, I don't take everything out of these crates all the time. Uh, all right. Yeah, let's, let's head back out of here. Oh, wait, hold on. Sending message, attempt 90, 91. Okay. Nothing's being sent. Can't deconstruct any of this stuff, right? Let me make sure. Oh, well, snap, crackle, and pop. We can, uh, we can go through here. What is, oh, get, really? Really? The iron's gonna block my way through? Get out of here. What the heck? So many grow tubes. Yeah, we, okay, I remember this. I remember all this. Oh yeah, look, there's no, another piece of iron. It's almost like I've already been through here and had a full inventory. <laughs> okay, we're back out. We're gonna keep heading west for a little bit and uh, just, just gonna see if there's anything. I don't, know. I don't think there's gonna be anything over here. Um, there's some, <laughs> there's some, there's some terrain tearing right there. I don't think there's going to be anything over here now. Yeah. Not, not quite yet. I think we're still in a, uh, in un, an unmade area. Okay. All right. So what I'm thinking is maybe, maybe they, uh, 
the story is to lead you to this area and to find that base and then like maybe those people in that base were the people that left the wreck they start building their thing and uh, you know trying to survive there or whatever so maybe you know what was there signatures on everything i didn't even pay attention it could have been the, it could have been a completely different signature all right so i got one telos egg so i mean we have one more uh, one more fish egg to use now um something else that we just unlocked and i i, I like i brushed it off was the um was the i think it was the beehive tier two if i'm not mistaken i guess we can look real quick was it the beehive tier two yes the beehive tier two now this is actually really good because it actually generates honey and bee larva which is what we need in order to make the outdoor farm we need the bee larva so now we actually have a way to get bee larva without having to worry about um genetically making it so we need to get this farm going and i need to be able to get i need to start collecting as much bee larva as i can so we can get these outdoor farms going because those outdoor farms are really the only way like we can automate things that require um any kind of you know food products or anything that's grown so we need to get one of those up as well um what do you think it takes what does it take tree work fertilizer <laughs> bioplastic nugget i just i'm pretty sure i just used all of my fertilizer tier two uh, we need to get that. I really need to get that being made again. And hold on, let's go ahead and throw uh, those, those, those. And boop. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's grab these eggs. Maybe we should... Maybe we should just go ahead and start making our own eggs. Because what do we need? We need mutagen we need fertilizer i think we just need fertilizer right regular fertilizer mutagen tier was it tier three and then i'm pretty sure it was the because we were going off of this one so we were going off of mutagen tier three fertilizer and then photoplankton c it was photoplankton c okay yeah let's go ahead and just try making some all right, so there goes those eggs. Let's go and get some more in here. I mean, if we can get some more golden guys, some some golden boys, that'd be cool. We definitely need to get fertilizer farms up and going though, and I don't think that's something that we made. No, I just did the uranium rods and nuclear rods. Uh, this is supposed to be making bioplastic nuggets over here. Are you making bioplastic nuggets? Why are you not making bioplastic nuggets? Mushroom, silicon, and water bottles. There's the water bottles. There's no silicon. Absolutely no silicon whatsoever. Weird. Hold on a second. Oh, they're all gone. Interesting. How are they all gone? I don't know what they're all doing. All right, I'm going to grab that silicon. I'm going to throw it in there. We might need to get more bots going. <laughs> So now that's gonna that's gonna go ahead and it's gonna click over every single time and make some. Yep, because I had the silicon. Hmm. Weird. Is this miner full? Let's see. We've got cobalt, iron, magnesium, silicon. Yeah, it's completely full. Oh my gosh! Supply iron? No supply. What are you doing? You're supplying silicon okay hold on a second let me make sure i did these all correctly then did i really mess up all these i didn't even set them up <laughs> supply cobalt oh my gosh oh look at that they're actually going and grabbing the stuff from these now wow <laughs> wow all right come on golden eggs dang uh let's go ahead and get another one started i really want you know so before we were able to get the uh, golden eggs like every single time and like i said before i think it's because we didn't have the other ones unlocked so it couldn't give it to us or give it to us so i think that was the only recipe it could give us and now like we're never gonna get it <laughs> so i know that's how you get golden eggs though so if we wanted to we could go ahead and recycle these which i might actually do that uh and then just keep going until we get golden eggs because i'd rather put my resources to go towards golden eggs anyways do we seriously super alloy aluminum pulsar quartz? Like we we are we seriously full on that stuff? There's no way. Pulsar quartz, not even close. 
Our guys must be super busy. You know what, though? Hold on. We could do a priority dump of... The dump could be priority five. You know what? Let's do that. Boom. Priority five. This should be the highest priority to dump this stuff out. If they can take this out, it needs to be gone. <gasps> she needs the leaf. <laughs> wow. Some more Ulani eggs. Huh. What are the odds? Is it never going to give us... Is it never going to give us golden eggs again? What does the fish farm do? Does the fish farm guarantee a certain type of egg? I didn't, you know, I didn't even look. Um, generates animals. Okay. <laughs> Very descriptive. I have a feeling we have a osmium storm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, don't need an osmium. We got, we got that, we got that on mining action. Oh, look, it's a giant thing. <gasps> oh, we did get a golden egg. Oh my gosh, we actually got one golden egg. Okay, so we did what, two? I did one, two. Recycled two. No, we didn't. We did four. Recycled two, one. So out of five, out of six times, one of them was a golden, uh, golden fish. Okay. That's good to know. Good to know. So we'll go ahead and throw the golden eggs in there. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to keep redoing the other ones until we get golden eggs because they're just that much better. Because, I mean, 250% versus 500%, I mean, it's two for one. Like, come on. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't you? All you have to do is throw it in this machine and it magically makes the fish eggs into not fish eggs. Okay. Uh, the storm just ended. What is this storm? We just went through an osmium storm. What is that osmium? It looks like osmium. That's super weird. I literally just went through an osmium storm and it's like immediately osmium again. Huh. Makes me wonder if the other one was an osmium. <laughs> Maybe the other one was a cobalt storm or something. I have no idea. Um, okay, so I've got actually we got two Tilo eggs over here. So I'm about to go and uh, I got that two. I got two out of one uh, one trap deal. It's pretty nice. So no no Tilo eggs in there though. It seems like the same one as the one giving me all the Tilo eggs. I like it. Something in here too. Look at this guy's glowing super bright it's the it's oz yeah interesting there's another one what the heck is going on Ooh, tilo eggs in there too <gasps> lucky lucky you know what let me make sure i have this set up right um yeah supplying those okay oh we got a new blueprint uh fish display that means we just hit 2.5 tons of animals and we need 5.5 in order to get the uh the fish farm the outside fish farm so we're like almost halfway there <laughs> so i was getting to thinking while i was over there i wonder if it'd be beneficial to have another drone hub over on that side of the map like does it does it say that it does anything other than like being the central hub for everything because like uh maybe if like they were closer like they would work faster i don't know Activates the logistics system and allows drone creation. It just activates the system. And, okay, so it doesn't sound like we need multiples. All right, let's go ahead and check these. More Yulani eggs. I was, hoping, I was really hoping for some golden eggs here. Still uh, the Yulani. Let's go ahead and throw these fish in. And let's go verify what we are at V verse uh, for the... the um, the numbers wise let's go check our numbers out oh man see these these ones are actually 400 percent. that is really good for just being able to find those you know like that's that's awesome that's why i want to fill all this tank with i can't, I can't get through oh this is the worst all right you know that's fine we'll just go this way instead all right animals so we're at 2.5 and we need 5.5 almost halfway there not quite almost though uh, we do have a fish display. That's kind of cool. Not going to mess with the fish display yet. Need to get animals going faster. More of those. So, um, yeah, more eggs. And since we're going to sit here and wait, I've decided I need more drones. <laughs> we need more drones. I think we needed rocket engine. What else do we need? Rocket engine, circuit boards, and iron. Yeah, let's do that. Um, I've got a lot of rocket engines. Like, we might as well. 
All right, we'll go ahead and get three more going off the rip. And I've got enough for like one, two, three, four, five more. We get those going. Oh, you know what I just realized? I think the, um, oh, I was gonna say the boots. I thought the boots actually used rocket engines. So if we deconstructed those, that'd give us three rocket engines, but that is not the case. Uh, oh, I need iron. Okay, let's grab another iron. So that we made what eight more eight more drones heck. Yeah, I think what's our system at now 21 drones Sounds like a band 21 drones, okay <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and wait for those and uh, yeah, more we need more fish. I want all these tanks to be full Okay, so we got something different this time. We got the fish boo you eggs um i'm gonna go ahead and keep those because i don't think we have any of those and it looks like they might be a black and red kind of fish oh and they've got yellow spots on them i can dig it i'm gonna get um do these take okay so even just sitting here these take power uh but they don't take they don't give you any animal bonus okay so neato cool that's good fantastic let's go check for more fish eggs <laughs> this is oh this is a very vicious circle Okay, so I um I, I had a, I had a thought here in the plane. I think I'm actually gonna move all three of these um these fish catchers into the area right next to the teleporter because I'm getting the same things from them anyways in this area. So I'm gonna guess this whole area is has probably like the same spawn pools in it. You know, like one specific pool of water is probably not a whole lot different than the other one in this area, and just having it over here is probably enough. And it's see, honestly, I feel like I'm getting better results with the one up there anyway. So we're going to just set them all right next to each other. So I can just pop in, check them all, boom, get everything. And, um, you know, be on my way because flying back and forth. It's not far, but it takes a little bit of time if you're checking them like every five minutes, you know, you know what? Actually, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put one right here, even closer to my door. Uh, because why not? Just walk right up here. Check it. Be good. But like this one right here, this has been like by far the most uh, productive for me so f so far. All right, so I went ahead and I grabbed the one from underground as well, moved it right here. So we have all three right here. I might actually go ahead and move this one over here too. And it's really nice because the bots are able to get back and forth with this really fast now because they're just going from that other from the see this. There's another egg, man. That one, that one seems to be doing the best. I have the most luck with that one. Uh. Yeah, I have no luck with the. Maybe I should set them all over there. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to set all of them right next to that one because that one just seems like it's by far the best. All right, that looks good. Boom. They're all right there. It's just going to be easier. And then, you know what I just realized I probably need to do uh, to make things like not accidentally happen is I probably need to go, ha go back here and make sure that this is set up the same. Because if I don't... Uh, they're going to be delivering these all the way across the map. Yeah, so that's not good. Um, demand. I think we can leave that at zero. Yeah, we'll leave that at zero. I think that's what the other one was at. Let me make sure. Yeah, priority zero. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh, this is so much better. I, already, I just got two from here. Like right now, just easy. Fantastic. That's the way to do it. That's the pool right, right there. Okay, so I have some broken drones here. There's one there. There's one there. There's one there. I <laughs> I don't actually know how to recall them. Um How do I ah uh, I don't actually know how to recall them. Can I demand the drones here? Huh. Yeah, I kind of ran into a little bit of a problem here. And I'm sure what it has to do with is when there is, so like if I click on this, when these guys are coming to get, like it says there's a drone on the way here. I bet you when me, when I do that, is when it when it probably causes an issue because they were on the way here and then they're like uh they probably have to figure out like retarget where they're going yeah that's probably all me for doing that but i don't know how because there's like there's that makes me think there's pro there's another one over there 
and there it's like they're all broken <laughs> how, do, how do i get you guys back i think i can go up to him and pick him up maybe not see like that drone's going good oh look at there's one two three four yeah, I broke something. I don't know. Hopefully there'll be a um I'd like I would like to see a re recall drone button or like an on-off switch because so like I have um if we go into here, I have 21 drones. And let's Oh wait, hold on. What's this? No, nothing. Nothing, nothing. Let me make sure that there isn't something here. Um but I have 21 drones and it'd be nice if I could like have them back every now and then like oh, turn them off, recall to home, you know grab them all do whatever i need to do like if i want to deconstruct it what happens if i de deconstruct this you know what i'm saying like i don't want to because if i deconstruct that what happens to all of my settings like do they get wiped i don't know and i'm scared and i'm not gonna touch it <gasps> another golden fish baby let's go let's go another golden fish you know what maybe i should just leave that and other ulani alone and just like have it be you know you know what let's do it let's let's let it fish and be fish you know throw them both in there I think I have a bunch of those Ulanis though, actually. I yeah, I do. And we've got another four more Tilo eggs. Haha. <laughs> yeah, putting those all right next to each other was so much better. So much faster too to collect them. We're almost full. I need one here, two there, and I think we've got all of our tanks full. And then I think that's I think that's all the tanks I'm gonna make. I don't think I'm gonna make any more. I think at this point we're just gonna have to wait. I mean we're almost at three. We're almost at three, which means we're almost at four, which means we're almost at five and we only have to go to five and a half. So we don't have to hit it to six. So we're almost like we're halfway. We are there. We are only one away from being one and a half away. You know, it's pretty good. All right. So I reloaded the game just to see if my drones will wake up and it appears they have. Look at them. All of my drones come to me. Come home to me. Yes. Hello, drones. Welcome back. My drone army. Oh, yes. You were sleeping for far too long. I was worried about you. You were lost. I am your shepherd, the shepherd of drones. I wonder what a tier two drone is going to be. It's going to be like super fast. <gasps> what if it's going to have like teleport technology? It's going to be like shoink, shoink, shoink. You, know, you can just teleport in and out, pop in and out of existence. That'd be super cool. Oh my gosh. They're still coming home. Look at them go. Look at them. Look at there's still more. There's so many. They're probably stuck under the mountains, under the map. They were probably, they were so scared without me. I'm so proud of you guys. Goodbye. Alrighty then, well that is actually going to end it for this episode. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed. It was another fishy episode, but we did the things. The only thing that I haven't done is we haven't got these two tanks yet, and I'll get those two tanks here shortly. As soon as the Tilo spawn, uh, we'll throw those all in there. Look at that. The fish that we're using the most is green. <laughs> Miss C would be so happy. Green team for life. That's what you tell me. So, um, yeah, that's... Uh, that's it. We got as many fish tanks. This is, this is as many as I want. I don't want any more fish tanks than this. I feel like we've got enough. Uh, we've got, I don't know, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We have 20. A nice round 20 aquariums full of delicious, uh, uh, not delicious fish. <laughs> not delicious fish. Full of wonderful fish. And uh, they're getting us the, the points that we need. I Look at that. We're at three. Oh, my gosh. We're almost there. Kind of. Not really, but almost. Let's just say we're almost there, and we'll be almost there. But, yeah, thanks again for coming out. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your, get, rest of your day. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, share the video. If you want to follow anywhere else, you can always follow me on Twitter, on Twitch, and in the Discord if you want to chat. But have a good day. I'll see you next time.